Erin Morganson's writing gives me so much serotonin. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all well. So today's video is feel good book recommendations. They are books that will make you feel good. They'll make you laugh, they make you feel inspired. They'll just give you that good feeling inside. <laughs> I feel like during the summertime, during these months of the year, particularly like July and August, I'm always looking for books that make me feel good. That's what we want at this time of the year. The sun's out, we're basking in its rays. I wanna read funny stuff, I wanna read uplifting stuff, and so I thought this was the perfect video for right now. Make sure you let me know down below what some of your feel good recommendations are and let's just get into the video. So, who can guess what my first recommendation is? Oh wait. I don't know. Nobody knows. I know a lot of things, but I don't know about that. I'm not sure why. I don't know, I'm not psychic. It is the Heartstopper graphic novel series by Alice Oseman. Are we surprised? These are my favorite graphic novels in the whole world. You can just tell by looking at them, they're gonna make you feel good. I get like the most like <laughs> feeling, <laughs> feeling, you know, <gasps> that when I read these. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yep. 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 I don't even know which one's my favorite. I think maybe two or three because they are longer that we tackle more issues. However, number one will always have that place in my heart. I need to do a reread of these soon. At some point over the summer, I may reread them. So in this, we're following Nick and Charlie. If you're a regular on this channel, you've heard me speak about this a thousand times, but it's basically a boy meets boy and boy and boy fall in love romance. Set in the UK, set at secondary school. So I feel like I know all the references and they are just the most like cute, cinnamon roll, perfection, lovely, deserve the world characters you've ever met. Alice Oseman's illustrations are just like the cute, oh my God, they'll make you wanna die. Oh, the facial expressions in these. I've never read another graphic novel where facial expressions have been done so well. And although in like numbers two and three, we start tackling much more serious issues like discovering your sexuality and eating disorders and stuff like that. There's just this warmth and this happiness and this just joy at the center of these graphic novels. And I am trying to get everyone to read these. It's one of my books, one of the series that I just tried to get everyone to read and I love it so goddamn much. So if you're looking to start graphic novels, this was my first graphic novel I ever read. I think they're a great starting place and graphic novels are just what you need in the summer to just like, they're just the vibe. They're just the vibe. She's an icon, she's a legend and she is the moment. Yeah. Now, come on now. My next recommendation is You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. So I just read this, it's just come out. And in this we follow Liz as she has to run for prom queen to try and get into her dream college. And whilst doing that, she falls in love with another girl who is also running for prom queen. And it's a story of Liz being black in a predominantly white area, coming from not a really privileged family while everyone around her is very privileged. It's just the story of her joy. It's such a joyful book. I think it's such an important book for so many people to read right now, to see themselves in. She's incredible. She's a beautiful person. Her talent and brilliance is beyond. She surprises me all the time. The friendship group in this is amazing. The path we take with Liz is incredible. She is a really great protagonist. She's one of my most recent like favorite protagonists. I think that her voice, her decision making, the way she views the world is so interesting and so fun. It really reminds me of those like 80s, 90s chick films. Do you know what I mean? The teen drama films, like it's very clueless. I just think it's got so many layers to the story. It's such an interesting story and it's one I really, really loved. I loved the audiobook for this, so I would recommend the audiobook. It's on Scribd if you have Scribd. My link is down below by the way, if you want two months free of script. It's such a optimistic book and one that I really recommend. So this is one I won't spend too long on because again, this is a series I speak about a lot, but my next recommendation is The Illuminae Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Now, be warned, a lot of people die in these books. This ain't like, <laughs> this ain't all sunshine and rainbows. If you're looking from this video to be only contemporaries that 
you know, everyone is safe and happy in. You came to the wrong channel. Because I don't tend to read happy stuff all that often. However, these books are so funny. They are so much fun. The protagonists in these books are so much fun. In this, we are following, basically it's all different stories. I can't really describe these plots to you without spoiling. So we're following a couple in this who have just broken up and then their planet is overtaken and it's a war and they have to flee on these ships and they are on separate ships and they are communicating through all these chat logs and stuff and there's so many funny characters in this. My favourite is definitely Gemina, just because they're two of the funniest characters are in this one, two of my favourite characters. But all of the series is so, so strong. All of my family have read it and loved it. I mean, if you're looking for a book that wasn't, there was no death, this ain't it. Like, this is gonna make you go, <laughs> it made me cry, but for the majority of it, it is very funny and feel good, I would say. You all, crying when reading the series. My next recommendation is Watch Us Rise by Renee Watson and Ellen Hagen. So this is about two friends, Jasmine and Chelsea, as they tried to start a feminist club at their school and are met with loads of adversity. And it's them figuring out what their feminism is, what feminism means to them. And I thought it was just a really fun YA contemporary that was really realistic of what it's like to be a teenager. I think a lot of YA I've been reading lately, a lot of YA contemporaries struggle. They either make the protagonist really young, like they're 16 and acting like they're 13, or really old, they're 16 acting like they're 20. And it's not very often that I see like a real representation of what I was like at 16, and I think this is it. My favorite parts were definitely Jasmine's part. She is the black girl, and it is about her relationship to her blackness, her relationship to her weight is something that she struggles with, and something that her friend Chelsea is often very blind to. You know, this story is about them discovering where they haven't been feminine and where they've been letting the side down and where they've been ignorant and where they've ignored certain things because it benefits them and because their privilege in that area benefits them. And I just thought Jasmine's parts were way better written. I don't know if this was a collaborative effort or Renee Watson wrote Jasmine's parts and Ellen Hagen wrote Chelsea's parts. I feel like that was the case because since I've read more Renee Watson and it just felt like her voice. I love Renee Watson, she's a great author. I read this in a day. Good for you. It's super light, super fun, just these girls trying to make a change, trying to make an impact. And I just think it's something that's a really fun, great contemporary read that everyone should go and have a read of. Okay, one that may be a bit controversial, similar to Illuminae, because there's some misery in this book. There's some sad shit that happens. But I'm gonna recommend The Night Circus by Erin Morganson. Why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? For me, Feel Good has a bit of magic to it, has a bit of like spell bindinginess to it. And this book is just so perfect and magical and whimsical and taking you to the other world that sometimes I want from a feel good wreck. So in this, there are two magicians who are basting out in a way that they are not aware of at first. And the circus arrives without warning. The circus is a place where the battle happens, but they don't know it yet. And they are falling in love, but they should not be falling in love. And that's all I can say. There's a lot of misery in this book. This book is not happy. Why am I even recommending it for this video? And voila, what do we have, ladies? A fucking clown. We are a stupid bitch. We are a fucking clown. It just makes me so happy. Like, Erin Morganson's writing, gives me so much serotonin. Like, it's all I need. <laughs> she just serves it up on a platter to me. She says, bitch, you wanted serotonin? Here. Yeah. I loved The Night Circus. I loved, I loved The Star of Sea as well by Erin Morganson. The, the woman can do no wrong. And her writing to me is just feel good. It is just perfection. It is wonderful. So go pick it up. <laughs> so my next recommendation is Pages and Co. Tilly and the Book Wanderers by Anna James. This is about Tilly who lives above her grandparents' bookstore, which they own and characters start coming out of the books that Tilly reads. This is a middle grade. And the reason I chose this was because it really captures the bookshop magic that I love and that I'm craving right now. I wanna go to so many bookstores in London. I just wanna go sit in them and read. And so that kind of magic of being in a cozy bookstore with all these books around you and the warmth and oh, just the magic of that is something I have been craving. And I think if you're craving it too, this is the perfect book. That coziness, that warmth, that comfort that comes with being in a bookstore, this just gets perfect. Like it blows it out the water. And 
so I think it, if that is something you're desiring and wanting right now, this is it. This is it. It was a really magical book and I cannot wait to carry on with the rest in the series. This is just the book to light a candle with and sit in the dark and read. I think it's just wonderful. The next one is another weird one. You can tell maybe the things that bring me joy aren't what bring normal people joy. <laughs> in case you haven't noticed, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. I don't fit in. But I'm going to recommend This Is Going To Hurt and Towards the Night Shift Before Christmas by Adam Kay. Now, you might be thinking, Megan, for a feel-good recommendation video, why are you recommending me a book called This Is Going To Hurt? <laughs> and to that I say, why not? <laughs> so the reason I chose these is because Adam Kay is so fucking funny. The man is hilarious. This is a man called Adam Kay, his diaries from when he was a junior doctor in the NHS. And let me warn you, a lot of sad stuff happens in this book. There are some very difficult things to read in this book. He worked in the maternity ward for a lot of his career and so stuff to do with like loss of child or stuff like that or pregnancy difficulties is something you should definitely look out for. If that's something you know is a trigger for you, I would not recommend these books at all. However, Adam Kay is now a comedian and you can see why. The man is so funny. The man will have you cackling and there are so many stories in these, particularly in this one, that just sum up how stupid the British public are. I think before he worked in the maternity ward, he would have to deal with more of like the general public idiocy. And there's some stuff in here that like makes you cringe, but we yourself laughing. He is so, so, so funny. And I just think if you're in the UK, these books need to be required reading because the NHS needs us and the Tory government right now, CIS is not delivering. I shouldn't even call it CIS because I reserve CIS for things I like. Me talking about the UK political system. <sighs> it's a mess! In between all the laughter of these books is the painful fact that the NHS in the UK is being let down. And I think even if you're outside of the UK, these are so important to read to see just what our healthcare system is like. I'm not fucking selling it, but he is hilarious. He is literally the funniest author I've ever read. I mean, I've just opened it on a random page. Like I literally opened it on one random page. And the entry is, today cross the line from everyday patient idiocy to me checking around the room for hidden cameras. After a lengthy discussion with a pa patient's husband about how absolutely no condoms fit him, I established he's pulling them right down over his balls. Read it. <laughs> And then for the last book, I wanted to pick something I find really inspiring. And it's a book I haven't spoken much about on my channel. I read it before I had my channel and I just don't think it's the kind of book that I tend to speak about or tends to come up in conversation, but it is Becoming by Michelle Obama. Now, <laughs> if you haven't read this yet, you're probably like, Megan, I have no interest in it if I haven't got around to it already. However, this is one of the best memoirs I have ever read. And just learning about her life and what she has lived through and what she has experienced is so inspiring. Her tone of voice, her tone of writing is something that is very comforting yet inspiring. It hits that perfect balance of making you feel like you're doing okay, but also making you feel like you still have so, so far to go and reach your potential. It's just so interesting to see where she has come from. And I just, again, this is a book I think everyone should read. I loved it. It's a book that I think definitely one day I'm going to come back and reread. I think it's that type of memoir that you just want to come back and visit it again. So if you've been maybe debating about picking this up, I would really recommend it. I think it's such a special, lovely read. So there we have it. That is all of my feel-good book recommendations. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these, if you like them. I hope you have read some of them by now, if you've been around here for a while. Thank you so much as always for all your support on my channel. I love chatting to you in the comments like that is my favorite thing in the world is chatting to you guys in the comments of the of the videos and i feel very lucky to be on here with you guys so thank you so much for everything and i will see you very very soon bye oh my god that was a bit dramatic <laughs>